An AP reporter was one of a few journalists brought by the Israeli military Friday into southern Gaza. As soon as they got into Gaza, the reporters observed destruction as far as the eye could see. There are buildings completely collapsed. There's hardly a building that hasn't sustained major damage. The sound of drones buzzing in the air is ever present, and the sound of shooting is present every few minutes. The goal of the Israeli military was to show reporters two tunnels in the area, one where they say they found the bodies of six hostages, including 23-year-old Israeli-American hostage Hirsch Goldberg Polin, and another tunnel in the Philadelphia Corridor region. Now that's significant because the Philadelphia Corridor is one of the few things holding up a ceasefire deal between Israel and Hamas. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says he wants to keep Israeli troops in the Philadelphia Corridor, this strip of land in southern Gaza, because he says that's where Hamas is smuggling arms in through tunnels underneath the ground. The visit was a rare chance for international journalists to see the level of destruction wrought by Israel's 11-month offensive on Gaza inside the Strip. Israel's military has tightly controlled access to the Strip by international journalists, and you are only able to go in with a military escort.